While most players spend the offseason working out individually, Brewers infielder Travis Shaw returned to Miller Park to work out with Josh Seligman, strength and conditioning specialist. After work in the gym, we learned more about Travis growing up around baseball with his father, Jeff. Hey, hey. Good morning. Good morning. You ready to work out? Josh is ready to kill me. Let's go. <laughs> All right, let's go. In the off season, what does it look like in terms of how you know what you're supposed to do each day to get ready for spring training in the upcoming season? Before we go home, I mean, we sit down with Josh, we sit down with all the strength guys, and they kind of give out a general idea of what they want us to do, the goals they have for us in the off season, what they want us to improve on. They specialize it for each guy, and it's our job to kind of follow that and take, take his guidance. You obviously took the time to come here in the off season, spend this time with Josh. You had the opportunity to do it all of last off season, but why is it important to you to kind of maintain that connection, come back here and put in some work here in Milwaukee? Personally, I made the biggest gains physically that I've made in my career last off season. Josh is the best, I mean, body by Josh. So he pushes me to, to get better every single day. He's made me better in the weight room. He's made me stronger, he's made me faster. So it's definitely gonna pay off in the long run. Make it work, make it work. Uh-huh, uh-huh comes down to motivation within yourself. I mean, you, you have to have that drive yourself. It's a long season. I mean, if you, if you don't work out, it'll show down the stretch. Guys get tired. And for me, it's last year was the hardest that I worked out. And I noticed a big difference physically as the season wore on and I didn't wear down. And that's something that I'm looking to duplicate this year. Just what is it like to go through a workout with him and how he works with you? I mean, it gets, it gets monotonous all winter coming into the gym. I mean, it gets old. You do it four or five times a week. and. He's a high energy guy and having somebody to do it with, especially that high energy, that excited to, to work every single day, it, it makes it a lot easier for us. Two more weight classes, make it work. Hi baby. So, workout's done, the hard part of the day is over. What's next? Time to refuel the body, kind of recover a little bit and uh, now we gotta go eat. Now that you've been here two years, what do you like most about playing at Miller Park and playing in front of the home fans? The energy the fans bring every single night. I mean, they're super positive. They're always behind us. Uh, we feed off their energy. And the energy that we felt in October was something that's gonna stick with me for a long time. And I think we're, we're excited about what we have moving forward too. What do you like about Milwaukee in general from the time that you spent here? I'm a Midwest guy and this is a, I mean, it's a blue collar town. And, and, I mean, I, I like my time up in Boston, don't get me wrong, but I uh, definitely feel more at home here in Milwaukee. Well, we're heading to Calderon Club. Big Italian guy. Here we are, Calderon Club. After a big workout, you've got to refuel. So why, why Italian food? It's just been probably my favorite type of food um, since I was a little kid. I always loved spaghetti, chicken parm, literally anything Italian, I'm, I'm all in. Oh. Your dad obviously pitched in the big leagues for a long time, but Ohio was always home for you guys. Just kind of how did him playing and his career shape how you grew up and what your childhood was like? Yeah, he, he always wanted to go back to Ohio when he was done playing, and that's what he did. But when when he was in the middle of everything, I mean, we traveled around with him. Uh, his time out in L.A., we'd go out to L.A. for the summer. And then once school starts, we would head back to Ohio. It's kind of shaped where I am today. I mean, I think that's a big part of why I wanted to play baseball, why I got into baseball. From the Los Angeles Dodgers, pitcher Jeff Shaw. Coolest memory of him out there was 2001, uh, at the All-Star game. He made the All-Star team, and I was one of the little kids in the outfield during the home run derby. So that was probably the coolest memory I've had. What kind of advice or feedback does your dad give you now that you're playing and he's the one that's watching? He's very invested in my career. I mean, he he knows what's going on, and he's he knows he knows everything about my swing. So. If something goes wrong, he thinks he can fix it immediately. So he, he gives me advice. Sometimes I take it, sometimes I don't. But 
I can't thank him enough. Growing up in Ohio, you're a very loyal Ohio sports fan, whether it's LeBron and the Cavs or Ohio State or the Browns. So just tell me about growing up Ohio sports fan. It's easy to be an Ohio State fan. They're good every year. They win every year. They've multiple national championships since I've been born. And there's finally some excitement back with the Browns too. So Baker, Baker brought in a new energy. A, a new culture and I think it's finally starting to turn for the Browns. I mean, I've waited long enough, so it better start to turn. Obviously it was a great postseason, but how much are you already looking forward to spring training and just getting back for a 2019 season? To have that bitter taste in your mouth, the game seven, uh, it's gonna it's gonna drive us for next year. And I know I'm excited to get going again. And I think we'll be in a better spot moving forward and there's no reason that we can't get back and, and finally get over that hump.